So this is John Costa from Citizens Eye here with the Somewhere 2 Restore Media Hub and I'm joined by Boston or AKA the Orator. How are you? Yeah, new job. I'm alright, how are you? Not bad. <laughs> Tired. <laughs> so tell me a little bit about um, what you do as the Orator. As the, well, I'm a poet um, and arts curator so I deliver different projects within the community. Um, poet by profession so I'm out performing a lot. Um, if I'm not delivering poetry workshops or writing workshops, I'm doing festivals, gigs, anything I can get my hands on really. Uh, so if I was going to try and find you in the next couple of weeks, where would you be? I would be at the Strawberry Fields Festival, uh, Simon Says Festival, um, and a few more smaller gigs in and around Leicester, so you'll, I'm out there, you'll find me. Excellent. Now you signed up to Somewhere 2, which is yep. fantastic, so thank you very much for coming along and supporting us today with this Media Hub. No now the whole Somewhere 2 Restore High Street Heist campaign is about six weeks of trying to raise the issue around young people being the catalyst for unlocking empty spaces in our high streets across, across the country. Yep. Now, from your point of view, what would you do if you had an empty shop? If I had an empty shop, I'd start from basics and I'd just invite as many young people into one space as possible. Because what I found is if you give young people a space, they'll make something happen. It doesn't have to be anything in there, you don't need any resources, they just need the space. So I just invite as many people as down there as possible and we'd just have an influx of ideas and I'd let them decide where and how they want to take it and use that space. Um, so it's using the space as the catalyst to have the conversation to work out what you want to do rather than the other way around, yeah? Yeah, exactly. Because um, a lot can be learned from a conversation but for young people there's not many places to have that dialogue especially with people that will listen that can actually help them achieve their dreams. So to give them that space, invite down the Somewhere Twos and the other com companies that do great things with young people and get them to shut up for a minute and listen to young people. That's the way forward because I think too often people say yeah this is for young people but I haven't consulted young people. To let the young people speak up and say actually this is what we want, um, how can you help us? Uh, and I think having a space to do that would definitely be useful. Excellent. Now you came down and supported Georgina's Lovers of Literature store yep. in, in the High Cross. What was that like for you to see that kind of in operation? Because really, that was handed over to Georgina for a whole week and she really brought that space alive and supported by people like yourself. Is that something that you'd like to, to do? Yeah, props to Georgina, that was amazing to be honest with you. Having that space and inviting different poets down and other creatives and arts and crafts all in one space in somewhere like the High Cross was amazing because there's a huge footfall and there's people coming in and out all the time and it was ideally located just next to the Disney store so you had the young children coming in you had some of the older ones popping in to see what's going on um, definitely commend her for that and I'd love to do something similar myself so would you like a shop? yeah please there you go I've, I've got it on film now you said you wanted a shop so we'll have to do it now won't we? Yeah, I'm, Boston, I'm the orator thank you so much thank you very much take care